Hey, what's happening guys? Kickstart Carly here, back again. Decided to do something new. Uh, as my favorite game is survival horror, my favorite type of game, I should say, is survival horror. Stephen King once uh, wrote that nightmares exist outside King. of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. So, um, antithetical to the poetry my favorite of type of game is uh, survival horror, horror, and I've never played Alan Wake. Why. But there can be no Which explanation. It might be and surprising, but I don't have an Xbox, so that's why I didn't play it. Is what stays with us so we'll download it, and it's on, and I'm going to play it now. now. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Really? Oh, awesome. <laughs> Alan Wake! No way! Awesome! It's the name of the game! And it's the name of the offer. <laughs> I've always had a vivid imagination. But this dream that I looks sell, like a giant cock. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Big feiny cock. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. He sounds like John Cusack. <laughs> down a coastal road to get there. This whole thing sounds like a rip off of 1408. Junk, you sack movie. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. <laughs> He's a hitchhiker? He looked homeless. What do you he do? He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Just like Silent Hill. This game just seems like a direct ripoff of Silent Hill. This game is definitely a ripoff of Silent Hill. <laughs> but which will be better, Alan Wake or Silent Hill Suddenly Downpour? His body was gone. Because they both look extremely similar, like you know. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. His monologue is pretty cool, I must say. Hold down shift to sprint. Okay. What's over here? There's something over here. Damn. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Let's go to the lighthouse. Because there's something important waiting for me there. <laughs> the bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Okay, so there's collectible thermoses in this game. That's pretty lousy collectible, I must say. Uh, is there anything in here? No, I can't go in there. Uh, is this the graphics? The graphics? Like, is this the best it can go? I think normally the graphics set themselves. Oh shit, it's the homeless dude. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Think you're God. Ugh. You think you can just make up stuff. Ugh. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the Okay, right, I'm going to just change the graphics. Uh actually no, I think that's it. Found options. Graphic quality. Yeah, let's put everything to high. I don't know if that's better or not. <laughs> it looks like it, it is a bit. This whole game is like... What's focus do? You missed your deadline. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Jesus. Okay, that works. Okay, I dodged it. <laughs> Fuck off, homeless dude. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Okay. Hitchhiker was a character. Is there subtitles? Subtitles come in really handy. Uh, there we go. Because I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own? <laughs> 
So I always wanted this game, but like uh, this game is only available on Xbox, not PS3, so uh, I never got it. Sensitivity in this is mad. Uh, so I'm glad like I finally be able to get this for the computer. It's really awesome. This basically looks exactly like Sound Hill Downpour. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. Wow, the graphics are awesome. Oh shit. So if anyone knows me, my favorite type of game is survival horror. Uh, I love survival hard games, and now Wake is supposed to be really, really good, so I'm glad I can pick this up on the Steam shop for, I think it was 7 quid. And I, it came with American Nightmare and uh, also the DLC. There was no way out. This guy reminds me extremely of John Cusack. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, right, I'm creeped out. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Yeah, no oh shit. Come on, Alan. Or uh, for now on, I'm gonna call you John. John Cusack. If anyone's ever seen the movie 1408, you know exactly why. Follow the light. 1408's about uh, John Cusack is a horror writer, uh, similar to like Stephen King and that type of stuff. You should go into the light. Oh, shit. You are only safe there. He's uh, yeah, basically John Cusack is uh, going to safe haven. Okay. Oh, okay. Well done. I have something important to tell you. Thank you, God. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking. Do you understand? No. <laughs> I was expecting a YN option to come up or something. Yes, no. I was like, no. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Awesome. Cool, you have put new batteries in it. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Where's the gun? Pick up the revolver. Oh, God gave me an art gun. This game just reminds me of Sound Hill. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks, God. What a nice man. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse. But now Alan Wake is talking to He sounds like the narrator of uh, the Soul Calibur series. It's kind of distracting. 
Kind of cool though. You met me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. I do feel though I'm just playing. Uh, I do feel though I'm just playing um, 14, room 1408, the game. It has, uh, the movie has Samuel Jackson, it has, uh, oh Jesus. Uh, let's sprint. Can people enter in there? No. What's E to open do? Oh cool. You got flare guns. That'll be handy. Uh, hmm. Just lie like. Shit. Come on, just gotta get to the other side. So I got this game on Steam for uh, it was seven something. Oh, cool! That has a lot of light. Go to the light. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus! God, the load screens are definitely like instant fast. Yeah, first load screens, I haven't came across any yet. <laughs> Thank God. I love survival horror games. Everyone knows me. My favorite game is uh, my favorite game ever is Resident Evil One. I love that game to bits. It's the ultimate haunted house game. There's nothing better than that. And. Uh, Like, uh, I just love survival horror games. I'm glad that I'm playing one for a YouTube Let's Play. Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. Be dosed off. Sound Hill much? What's the, what's the last Sound Hill game? Wasn't the last one. There was one before it. Homecoming. Reminds me of Homecoming, this one. She could be Travis Grady from fucking, uh, Sound Hill. Is it Sound Hill Zero? No, it's not Sound Hill Zero. Sound Hill. Oh, I can't even remember it. There was uh, there was a prequel to Sound Hill with this guy called Travis Brady. I can't remember all what it was called. But I think it might be Sound Hill Zero. I have it for the PSP. It's really good. Up there, definitely one of my favorite Sound Hill games. Favorites two though, easily. I've never finished three or four. I've like ha I got halfway through three and I got bored and then uh, four is like I have no idea how Let's to describe four. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hello, man. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Beer fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Not beer fest. Okay. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Shake his hand. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. The graphics in this game are awesome. Presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. 
Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. Hey, honey. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. <laughs> right. Let's go up there and see. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling Damn. in. Okay, Al. Super I'll invisible back walls. To make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. <laughs> Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, where's my car? Is that the car? Nope. Uh, what's my car? <laughs> the ferry. Awesome. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> I've forgotten there were still places like this. Yeah, this is exactly like 1408. Unbelievable. Welcome to the Odeer Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. Wait a sec, did he mention so Stephen King, King at the really beginning of this? I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? So. Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. So let me get this I straight. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. <laughs> this is. I got the. A silent. Wow, that's and cool. They took it out of the window. This is a Silent Hill uh, ripoff and a 1408 okay. ripoff. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Room 1408 like is very like Silent Hill to room, so I don't know. What came first, Silent Hill to room or uh, 1408? Wouldn't know. My favorite Stephen King, uh, both novel. I've only read one Stephen King novel, and I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. <laughs> okay, old man. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad <laughs> circulation. Yeah. Okay. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself <laughs> a rocker. Unbelievable. Nice old man. <laughs> no, but uh. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. Jesus. Well, uh, Stephen King's 1408. Like, I wonder if that came first before, uh. Before, uh. Sound Hill 4, isn't it? The room? It's basically very much the same thing. And uh, my favorite Stephen King novel. I've only read one novel, but I've seen uh, most of the Stephen King movies, and easily it's it. I'm so freaked out by uh, by Pennywise, the dancing fucking clown, and you know Tim Curry is just he'd be one of my favorite actors by default, just for the fact that he's Frankenfurter, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hello. Oh, <sighs> just you know, it's awesome. Mr. Stucky. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. Creepy. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. <laughs> I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. 
<laughs> Very like 1408. Even the weird lady. Even though, uh. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Samuel Jackson was the weirdo You're in 1408. This time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> oh my god. Damn It swells up like a Doctor! Get me the belly! Lime in the cookie nut and mix it both together. You get the lime in the cookie nut and then you feel better. <laughs> my god, it's even got Reservoir Dog soundtrack. This could easily be my favorite game. Easily. I know that it has David Bowie during the credits. My god. Mission accomplished. The key. And the directions. My I know it's a rip-off, but my god. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh uh, yeah, I have to sell you that. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your Your keys! What's up with him? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed yeah. to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padme here on PBF. This uh, reminds me of the opening for The Shining. Maybe this is no, just a love layer to Stephen King, because so far this is what I it seems like. I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. So yeah, I got the entire Owl Wake collection for 7 euro on Steam uh, the other day. Very good deal. Woo! <laughs> awesome soundtrack. Hmm. Let's go into the house and see. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, alright. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. <laughs> I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. Uh. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. <laughs> I love survival horror games. Easily my favorite genre. Like, uh... Oh, if there's like something to do with this cabin, I'm gonna love this game. It's gonna be impossible for me not to be. If there's like something where I have to hold off this cabin, oh, oh, I can tell you. I just love survival horror games. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, cool. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. I'm not surprised she has a fear of darkness, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Hello? I'm insanely Anybody impressed here? with this game, you wouldn't believe. Oh yeah, that's how you walk slowly, okay. Uh, if there was a power box, it wouldn't be upstairs, would it? Be in the kitchen? I don't know, what's the American power box? <laughs> where, where do they go? Uh, are they outside? Why is the front door open? Why is there a jukebox outside? Okay. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. <laughs> Must be a good writer. Ooh, brr. Sorry, Helen. Right, uh. Maybe I will have to go upstairs. Or maybe I can go in here. No, I can't. This is a really well designed area. I'm not kidding. It's been a while since I've seen something this well designed in a video game. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 
Uh, one thing I've got against this dude is that he sounds a bit like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Uh, mainly Nicolas Cage from, uh, what movie? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Mainly Nicolas Cage from the movie, uh... I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Nicolas Cage from, he said somewhere on the island, so it might not be in here, is that what he's telling me? Okay, I'll go out the back door and see what happens. Yeah, I didn't think it would be here. Uh, nice relaxing survival horror game, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure it's going to get much, much worse. Uh, I'm looking for a fuse box. Just where? Oh, I just realized something. Okay. Wouldn't it make sense to go back out the front again? There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Yeah. Is that where people keep those things? I grab that? No. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> that would be light. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure the island had I'm once fine. been the site for a love story. Maybe it was be that again. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. <laughs> Maybe. Did he buy the place? Or is he just rent now for a holiday or what? Jesus, he stood outside for a long time. It's now dark. And she isn't kidding. She really is afraid of the dark. Do you see how much light she has going into that thing? Alice? Honey? And she's upstairs naked. She upstairs naked? Alan, Come on. I'm upstairs. Oh my I'm god, she is. For you. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Hot, 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 well, hot, hot, hot. Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. He was basically thinking the exact same thing I was thinking. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god, surprise. it's a typewriter. Alice? That's awesome. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you. Everyone hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. What? It's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to My think god, he's an asshole. <laughs> <sighs> this game was stuck in development hell, I remember, for the longest time. I think I heard about this game first in 2005. It took ages for it to come out. Similar to Duke Nukem. Well, not quite as long as Duke Nukem, but you know what I mean. Alice? Alice? She's being molested. Quickly, get back to her. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Oh my god. Alice! I'm coming! It's alright! I'm coming! What the no! hell? Alan! Help me! Alan! Alice? Wow. Alice? 
This game is creepy. I wonder if there's side quests like in Silent Hill Downpour. That would be pretty awesome. Oh no! Why is he bleeding? Uh, waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Okay, right, so this is where, uh, this is where I'm gonna save it. I think you've noticed I can keep it quiet this Let's Play because, uh, I haven't played this game before, so I'm really taking it all in, you know? This game is fucking amazing. I can't wait to actually get back and play it. I hope you guys actually are gonna be enjoying it as much as I am, so... I think it might have went a bit over time, but hey, it's worth it. I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed my Let's Play, Alan Wake.